Hey guys, so it's vlog Saturday and I've been away for like a month now and it feels really great to finally be back on the vlog. So if you don't know me, what's up? My name is Sarah. For all of you who do know me, hey old friend, how's it going? Tell me down below. Um, so the month of May was like really weird. So in the honor of summer and the fact that an amazing book has been made into an amazing movie that I have yet to see, but I've heard it's amazing and apparently it makes you cry a lot, I'm going to do a book report on the book by John Green called Fault in Our Stars. So I tried to look professional, but I couldn't find my glasses and I couldn't find my awesome bluish shirt. So I'm just gonna hold this pen, I'm going to hold this book, and talk about The Fault in Our Stars. So why did I start reading it? Um, it was actually, I had to read it for a project going into my sophomore year, but that's not the only reason why I read it. Um, Hannah, who I'll, she has a blog, I'll put the link in the thingy, you know what I'm talking about. And another friend of mine said I had to read it, it was like the bomb. So I read it and I cried many times and I fell in love with it. Although the book report I had to do on it made me hate the book because book reports suck. Why ruin good books? So yeah, thanks teachers. Um, John Green is an amazing person. Like, I watch his vlogs on Vlog Brothers. I'll put a link thingy down in the one thingy. It'll be below Hannah's link thingy. Anyway, lots of thingies. So, I mean, John Green's awesome in general. I read his book called Looking for Alaska. I cried in that one too and decided that Alaska is the best thing ever. So I now have decided that I want an Augustus and an Alaska in my life. That needs to happen. Um, my favorite quotes, I have about four of them in this book. One of them is called, my thoughts are stars and I can't fathom them into constellations. I love that. That quote describes my life sometimes because I'm full of ideas and a lot of times the ideas can't be put together because they're not completed. Another one of my favorite quotes would have to be, I'm in love with you, and I know that love is just a shot into the void, and that oblivion is inevitable, and that we're all doomed, and that there will come a day when our labor has been returned to dust, and I know that some will shallow the only earth we'll ever have, and I'm in love with you. Yeah, that just like speaks for itself. I need an Augustus in my life. That is what I learned from this book. I need an Augustus in my life. Another great quote that I continuously laugh about is what a slut time is. She screws everybody over. Yeah, it is. Pretty self-explanatory. I continuously laugh at this because it is so true and I am holding the pen wrong again. Okay, fixed it. It's all right. My favorite quote in the book is actually um, between Augustus and Hazel, once again. And I have to actually pull the book out. And he says, they don't kill you unless you like them, he said, as mom arrived at the curb. And I've never lit one. It's a metaphor. See, you put the killing thing right between your teeth, but you don't give it the power to do its killing. I love it. It is one of the quotes that I just can't help but love. So, yeah. Something that's really awesome in the book is that Augustus and Hazel, they don't really say, I love you. Instead, they say, okay. And okay to them is just the equivalent of saying, I love you. But it's not cheesy. It's not like, oh, I love you. You're the best. It's their way of saying, it's going to be all right, and thank you for everything you've done. It's their way of saying always, and Augustus even says, maybe okay will we'll be our always, and that's just so cute. It just makes them so much of a great couple. So what did Fault in Our Stars teach me? 
yeah, life sucks. And life's going to knock you down a thousand times. But you know what? You can either let it knock you to the ground, or you can get back up and say, screw you. I'm going to keep trying until I beat it. And that's just one of the most important things that I think it's ever taught me. Would I recommend it? Yes. I would recommend this book to every single person in the whole entire world. I would recommend it to three-year-olds who barely don't even really know how to read yet. Like, everyone. Everyone needs to read it. You need to read the book before you go see the movie. If you're one of those people that are just going to go see the movie without reading the book, goodbye. Don't even talk to me. Don't look at me. No, don't do it. Because you need to read the book before you read the movie. And John Green is amazing. And uh, thank you, John Green, for creating such an amazing book. Alright, there you have it. If you liked this video, make sure you liked it. If you want to subscribe, which I know you do, click that red button. If you have a comment, leave a comment down in the skirt. And as always, I will see you next Saturday and possibly every other day this week because I'm still deciding whether or not we should do daily vlogs. So, dream on. Bye!